today I'm out at the local range with the Spark 2 Red Dot from Vortex. This is not going to be a review, it's just going to kind of be what's in the box and the uh, first impressions of, of what I think coming out of the box. So first thing, we'll open this up and you have your standard manual. Um, you have a Torx wrench it looks like. You have the multi-height mount, which I like a lot. You can mount it to co-witness with your existing sights. Here's the other part of the mount. It's packaged really well. As always, Vortex does a really good job. So these are pretty much spacers that, you know, stack on top of each other so you can mount it at different heights. It comes with the uh, the batteries so this is a CR2032 battery and here is the optic man my first impressions are wow look how small this thing is I'm used to like the strike fire and strike fire 2 which are a lot bigger and the mounts a lot heavier but this is just a little teeny little guy it comes with flip up caps of course it's really really nice um, some of the specs like I said in, included in the box uh, or the, is the multi-height mount, a T10 Torx wrench, 764 hex wrench, the CR2032 battery, and then flip up covers for the optic. Um, the mount style is multi-height, so you can mount it at different heights. Uh, the magnification is one times. The objective lens diameter is 22 millimeters, so it's just a little guy. Um, the dot color is bright red. Uh, the dot size is 2 MOA. Um, eye relief is unlimited, of course. The adjustment graduations are 1 MOA. Uh, max elevation is 90 MOA, and then the max windage adjustment is 90 MOA. Uh, it's parallax free. This thing is super, super light. It's only 3.1 inches in length. Uh, it weighs 5.9 ounces. And man, this thing is so sweet. So it has multi-coated lenses for anti-reflectivity. So if you're aiming at something, it keeps the sun off, keeps the reflection off from people downrange or things downrange that you don't want to see the reflection. You know, you don't want those deer downrange to see the reflection when you're aiming at them. It might scare them off a little bit. <laughs> the battery life is up to 300 hours on the highest setting and it's up to 6,000 hours on the lowest setting, which is really nice. And then I think it has an auto shut off after 12 hours. So if you leave it on, put the caps down after the range, forget to shut it off, it'll automatically shut off after uh, 12 hours. Uh, it allows you to get on target fast, just like any red dot. Um, it, it, it has the capability of being mounted on a weaver or a Picatinny rail which is really nice and it will handle a shotgun blast so you can mount this on your shotgun if you want to hunt deer in slug season um, what else the bright uh, the, <laughs> the brightness of the red dot has 10 intensity levels and it automatically returns to the last dot intensity used when powered up it has a rugged single piece body construction machi machined from aircraft grade aluminum and it has o-rings in there so it is waterproof and fog proof it's also filled with nitrogen and that's what keeps the fog off the lenses um, it has a just like any vortex product it has a lifetime warranty so if you have any problems with these uh, vortex has no problem in taking these back which that's what I like about Vortex is you can always just just send it back if you don't like it. Now I'll kind of read you the product overview and yes it's right off their website. The Spark 2 allows you to get on target fast. It is ultra compact and lightweight. The Spark 2 uh, speed point aiming for rapid combat is equally at home mounted is equally at home mounted and on rifles or shotguns. So, and it also has the the controls in the rear facing directly. So when you're looking at it, you just push the push the buttons. So those are the on-off controls, and it adjusts the uh, adjusts the the dot brightness, which is really nice. So usually with these these optics, the lower the dot brightness, the finer point of aim you can get to. 
Uh, it has a, like I said, rugged single piece machine from Aircraft Aluminum. Um, and that's about it. They say that the uh, VMX 3T magnifier is not recommended for use with this, but it is compatible with uh, night vision. So if you run night vision for hog hunting, this will work perfect uh, for that. Uh, the versatile multi-height mount system accommodates most firearms, including rifles needing absolute or lower third co-witness heights and mounts on a standard weaver or picatinny base. Um, a modular three-piece base offers for separate mounting heights for user and weapon specific customization. Then it gives you the heights. So this is just a first time out of the box kind of kind of look at it and the next video you see we're going to be mounting it on something and we're going to be taking a few shots with it. Man, so just right out of the box my personal thoughts are this thing is awesome. I mean it's light. It's really neat that you can mount it at different heights to co-witness with your iron sights or not if you're trying to get over your iron sights. And so that's my first kind of overview. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will stick around for the second half of this video where we'll be mounting it on something and taking a few shots. Alright, we'll see you next time.